Some of us remember scenes like that from our early days in the Society of Mary. Maybe a few of you even recognize some faces and places, but it's more than a time period or a particular event that ties us together as brothers in the Society of Mary. And as we celebrate our bicentennial, it's a good time to reflect on the most important things that connect us, our charism and our dedication to the mission of Mary. So it doesn't matter whether you join the SM in 1952, in 1973, in 1991, 2006, or in 1988, like me. We are unified in our vocation, in our spirit of community, and in the mission of Mary. Our Lord constantly insisted that you cannot get into heaven unless you have a mind of a little child. <laughs> and the mission of Mary is to help people have a faith of a child. Devotion to Mary is precisely that. And that's the mission of the Marianists the mission of Mary. The bicentennial theme is to know, love, and serve. These verbs are omnipresent in Marianist texts and tradition. They're simple words, but they carry a weighty obligation. To know, love, and serve Christ, to know, love, and serve Mary, to know, love, and serve the inspiration of our founder. That's what we've been called to do over the last 200 years. And in the United States, we've had our struggles, but it's good to recognize our successes as well. Just think of the thousands and thousands and thousands of young people we have educated over the decades. Because of course, for Marianists, education is a privileged means of formation in faith. You know, we often think that Mary must have taught Jesus a lot of things. She was really his first teacher in this world. And so me as a teacher, as a Marianist, I can really take on Mary's role of teacher. Um, and what she did for Jesus, I hope to do for the students, whoever they are, that come into my life. Um, and so I think that's why I became a Marianist. Many of us were drawn to the Marianists as a way of combining being teachers with spreading the gospel. And over the course of more than 150 years, American Marianists have done both with great success in so many places. But of course, schools have only been part of our ministry. Our parishes, retreat centers, and works in social justice means that American Marianists have had a huge impact everywhere we've served. Father Shamanad's earliest efforts to bring people to Christ were among the laity. We know that lay people in small Christian communities were his primary focus for formation in faith. We've continued this mission sharing the charism with our lay friends and collaborators. 
From the earliest school sodalities, the lay branch of our big Marianist family has been an incredible source of inspiration and a valuable partner in our work. Today there are more than 100 Marianist lay communities in the U.S. And that doesn't even include the Lively Marianist Life programs, our premier youth ministry program for more than 40 years. We should be proud of our work in lay formation. This ministry has had an amazing impact that reaches across generations, has been especially powerful with lay collaborators in our sponsored ministries, helping us multiply our efforts far beyond our current capabilities. But sometimes the way we serve the Blessed Mother takes less obvious forms. Mary at the foot of the cross, for example, was, was really central to, to Father Chaminade's thinking. And when you stop and think about that image of Mary at the foot of the cross, here is a woman who is losing her son and she is at a place where she can do nothing. She, there's nothing that she can do to help him except to be there, you know, and, and I think you know, sometimes in our lives, you know, when, when we're with people and, and in different situations, simply choosing to be present, choosing not to drop out, you know, is the most important thing we can do. I think that is a, is a wonderful image of, of Mary, and it's, it's something I've come to treasure. It's inspiring to recall that we were once a mission of the Society of Mary. Father Chaminade was still alive when those first six Marianists arrived in the United States and made their way to Ohio. Even back in the 19th century, our drive to know, love, and serve Mary compelled us to send missionaries to the kingdom of Hawaii. Imagine how that felt to those humble brothers to arrive in such an exotic locale. And of course, our role as missionaries continued with great faith and energy over the following decades. Everything we have accomplished, every work fulfilled, every lesson taught and learned, every life changed for the better, is a gift we have been given to share. And we believe that these gifts, the gifts of our charism, have been given to us in a most remarkable and holy way. I get to participate in Mary's mission. She's an inspiration. This woman who is alive and is our mother. Mary will always be there to help you so that you can do her mission of bringing Jesus into the world. The love and the guidance and the inspiration of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary, untire of knots. To God through the intercession of Mary. She is the key to the incarnation. Under Mary, we will flourish. Happy Bicentennial, brothers. We have much to be proud of and work yet to do. Let us continue our prayers and paraphrasing the founder, may we remember that ours is a magnificent work. If it is universal, it is because we are missionaries of Mary who has said to us, do whatever he tells you.